so I wanted to do a little update on the sound and my experience with this this uh, modded exhaust. I've been driving around for about three weeks and put quite a few miles on the car since it's my daily driver. Uh, and although the, the muffler mod is actually much louder than I anticipated it being, I think it is a really, really nice sound and I haven't found it annoying um, at all. I haven't really found it hard to hear my music or to talk in the car or anything like that. And it's loud, but it sounds super clean. It's not raspy at all. Uh, it doesn't sound cheap. Doesn't sound like um, I, you know, I took it out and chopped it up and put exhaust wrap on it or anything like that. Um, overall, I spent twenty dollars on the exhaust wrap tape uh, from uh, AutoZone. It's the JB Weld exhaust repair tape, and it actually bonds itself to the the metal when it gets heated up. And then on top of that, I put. Um, 2000 degree high temp exhaust wrap tape and stainless steel um, zip ties to make sure that it's not going anywhere and then i also decided to put the insulation back into the muffler which is just going to ensure that it doesn't sound hollow and it doesn't sound raspy uh, the added benefit of that is if there is any kind of deterioration with that exhaust wrap tape that i did then the muffle the the sound is just going to go and enter the the muffler and it'll get a little bit more quiet but I think it'll still sound really good. So it's not a big deal at all. Start to finish, this job took me uh, between three and a half to four hours. And if you have access to a welder and you know how to weld, I think you can do this for tw between 20 and, and $40. Uh, the reason I say $40 is because I uh, actually kind of messed up with how I cut the muffler open and I didn't leave any part of it attached. So I had a hard time lining it up. Um, and that led to a bunch of big gaps in between the, the piece that I cut and the muffler when I went to go weld it up. So I ended up having to buy some 1 8 inch thick um, sheet metal from Home Depot, cost me about $20, and I used that to fill in those gaps. If I could do it again, I would just leave one piece attached to the muffler so that it's automatically lined up when I go to put it back together uh, and weld it up, and I don't think I'll have that issue. So. All in all, 40 bucks, about four hours of work for the E92 M3. If you want a nice muffler, you're looking at spending minimum $1,200. Um, you can get the, the you know, Megan Racing for 700 bucks or something like that, but I honestly sound, think that the stock modded exhaust sounds way better. Um, I highly, highly recommend you do it um, or have it done even up to the $500 price range if you need to pay somebody to get it done. I think it's well worth your money. And the best part is the car looks stock. Uh, it has the original muffler. It just looks clean and simple and it sounds the way that it, this car should have sounded from the factory. So this is like the, this is like the definition of OEM plus in my opinion. So I'm gonna be posting some more exhaust clips and some flybys and that type of thing so you can hear what the four pipe mod sounds like and uh if you want to see those videos follow the channel like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one